Hi guys, and welcome back to Kickback Garage. Rob here. This is the seventh in the series on the TV 175 uh, rebuild. And today I am going to fit the RT195 cylinder in the engine. Hopefully, uh, that means we'll be able to get it up onto a wheel shortly. So if that's something you're, having a, you're fancy having a watch of, then uh, grab yourself a brew and uh, we'll get on with it. Right, first off, I just want to show you what I've done. Uh, this, because this is the older type engine case, the one without the oil uh, thrower, uh, these uh, exhaust studs, they were six millimeters, or maybe they were seven, I'm not quite sure. <laughs> but anyway, I have uh, drilled out those and uh, fit the uh, later type eight millimeter, and I've also fit stainless studs on the side case here, which I really like to do when I'm doing these sort of jobs. I have also, ported the engine ports ah, let's have a look if I can bring it up there now this is the uh, base plate to uh, RT 195 kit so I just bolt it down there and it gives you uh, a nice little template to uh, be able to match those ports which is uh, very important uh, it was a bit worried the owner that it was going to go really really fast but that's not really why I do it we do that because of the cooling Petrol is a coolant in the two-stroke engine, and uh, the more of that, the better. Both, uh, yeah, okay, maybe it'll get a tiny, tiny little bit more speed, but we won't worry him about that one. And here, I can turn it round, so that my OCDs are completely terrible. I have already fit, already fit the, uh, uh, can you see that? I've already fit the MB steel base plate there and a new Vitron seal and a new uh, bearing in there. We've done that before, so I don't have to show you that one. And then now I'm going to proceed by fitting the uh, crankshaft and the uh, maghouse. So let's get to it. Okay, okay. This is uh, everything that's included in the uh, RT, BGM RT kit. Got your piston. This is uh, uh, not reed, so you haven't got the weed nose in there. Uh, always check that you've got the same <laughs> same tolerance on the, on these uh, components, because you never know, you never know. It's always good to check. So this is an A piston. Uh, looks good. All looks good, hunky-dory. Uh, then we have the barrel itself. The ports look uh, clean and tidy, actually. It, it looks good in there. There's no burrs or anything I should be worried about so I don't really need to tidy that up whatsoever and this is also an A cylinder so that suits that thank you very much so that's good and you've got the uh, top here the head shiny aluminium jobby with a little recess there I've got some, uh, I'm not sure what these are for. I think this is if you use like a, a 57 stroke or something crankshaft, some uh, skinny uh, skinny spacers. I got two <laughs> sets with rings. I think they just packed them a little bit quick. So I've got an extra set of rings there, which is handy. Uh, got the uh, bolts for the top. And this is the extra ones for the, uh, because You've got extra studs in there. They screw it straight into the top. Here. Very nice. Four extra ones there. So that's for those. I have got engine studs. Four. Because obviously the RT uses this four stud system. Which is actually, it's very good. I'm really pleased with the one that's on the, on the Shrek mobile. Because uh, we haven't had to touch that. It's normally a bit of a problem child with the old Lambrettas there. So that's good. Uh, got the gudgeon pin. And I've, these came with a crankshaft. I'm not sure what size they are. Different size uh, packing plates. And I bought some extra ones as well. I can't remember, to tell you the truth, what, how thick these are. This is a three mil. 
I think we're on two and a half or something like that as well. So, first thing to do is I am going to check, before I do anything, I'm going to check the uh, ring gap. And that is uh, ah, opening stuff with your teeth in these corona times. Probably not very clever. Uh, easiest way to do that is I like to insert them in the top. Like so, and uh, press it down with the uh, with the piston, uh, about a centimeter or something like that. That means that they are completely flat, positioned in the piston, and I can see already that I probably need to get the old diamond file out on this puppy. I like to set the ring gap at point. <laughs> Point 0.5 really, millimetres. There I got point 0.5. That's not going in there. I do not want it to be less than point 0.35. That's not going in there either. So... 0.25 not so the ring gap is quite tight actually on there so I'm gonna have to get the old uh, diamond file and I'll uh, sort those out afterwards well no I won't so that was the old uh, diamond file uh, <laughs> so it you have to be really really careful about these because if if you go to town with the old file there, it's so easy to make the, the gap too, uh, too tall. And this is uh, 0.45. I think, I think that's good enough. I think I'll keep it like that. <laughs> it's cold out here again. It's very annoying. Right, these uh, engine bolts, they come with the uh, BGM kit. So we'll, uh, we'll fit those first. And... Uh, I use this horrible green, uh, oh, what's it called? It's like, um, it's thread lock on the uh, cylinder studs. I think probably the only place I use a really, really strong lock type. Yeah, maybe the studs as well, but they're red. Anyway. Right, crank in. Here's the beautiful crankshaft. BGM, I've already sat on, uh, put on the uh, the bearing brace on here. This is 60 by 110, should give you a little bit more capacity. Smoother running. So first, uh, first job here is uh, you need a little bit of a double of the old uh, two stroke there. Yep. And you have to put it around this edge here black one there uh, that is basically and there's stuff that ran in here I'm gonna put in there it's just to lube up the the edge there of the seal as we uh, thread that in so so And then you hit it with a really big hammer. No, 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 you don't. Don't do that, please. All right, sometimes I wish I was uh, resourceful and uh, found tools before I started doing this sort of stuff, but it's uh, that's where it goes. So, what I'm going to do now is um, let's see if I can wiggle that in a little bit. What I'm going to do now is uh, pull it through here 
with the aid of a tool. Now this is the this one in particular is the Casa Performance crankshaft tool. But uh yeah, there's lots of different ones out on the market at the moment, so it they're a lot cheaper than uh repairing twisted cranks. Put it that way, eh? Right, that's the crankshaft in. Nice, nice. Hello. <laughs> the reason why I need an action cam for this stuff is really apparent when uh, when it flicks off the stand here. And I'm going to adjust you a little bit. Right, first uh, thing I want to do is fit the piston. I have lubed it with some uh, two stroke, and I've also fit the circlip there on one side all right and let's see if we can do this without breaking stuff this is the little bearing lubed with the two stroke oil the arrow i think the easiest way to do it is you lube up this with two stroke and i've got the uh good uh what's it called I've got the pin in uh, one side of the circlip, so I'll uh, put it in the opposite side, uh, like that. Oh, nice! It goes in nicely, and I just ease it in there, so that it gives me the gap, so I can fit it over my con rod. And the arrow that points where? That points always to the exhaust. Doesn't matter. Anyway, always to the exhaust, and on in this case the exhaust is down, of course. So we uh, put that over there. Mm -mm -mm. And try and uh, line it up with the gudgeon pin there. No, it went. went in really, really nicely. Lovely jubbly. I don't need to put in the other one yet. And so the, the piston is already lubed. I'll put that down, put that down, put it down, lad, put it down, lad. This, right. So uh, we need some calculations here. We have a 60 times 110 com rod. An original one is 57 times, uh, no, sorry, 58 times 107. So the conrod gives us uh, three millimeters more, but because that's both directions, it's only uh, it's three millimeter. Yeah, the conrod gives us three millimeter, but the stroke that's both directions. So that's only one millimeter, not the two that you would think. So that's uh, four. So I think I'm going to try with a 3 mil packer straight away. Uh, this is a 3 mil packer. So the reason why I'm doing this is basically so I can find where it's the wrong way. Basically so I can find, find out where, where we are with the uh, port timings. There we go. So that's 3 mil packer. And then we'll fit the, obviously, exhaust port at the bottom. Let's 
Slide that over there. Ease the piston in. I like to ease it in there. And push it up a bit. There we go. Just make sure that that's uh, all the way down. Just give it a little bit more. Right. That's the old moment of truth. Ooh. Wow. Okay. Right. I think I'm going to have to do uh, a bit of action cam. Right. I think you can see. I'm going to try and get something to point with. Right. Let's have a look. So the object of the game here on the RT kit is you really want the top, the crown of the piston to kiss. And what I mean by that is this. You really want this uh, edge here to kiss the bottom of the transfer port when the piston is on the, its lower settings. So we'll uh, wind it back down there. And this is where Mark Broadhurst recommends that they they be sitting and there you can see it I re seriously don't think I'm gonna it's slightly under slightly under but that's not a lot that's not a lot at all that's and that one that one looks pretty much right on the edge there so I I think I think I'm gonna leave it at that to tell you the truth and the exhaust slightly under I could actually if I was being adventurous now this isn't my uh, barrel but if it was me I've done that on a TS1 I've actually opened up the exhaust port there a little bit but that it's so minimal that I think I'm going to keep that three mil packer and what I have to do now is work out how much uh, how much space I've got on the, at the top and if I need to use some uh, Packers on the top here. Where are you, dude? So many holes. It's like, well, which way does it go? Does it go there? Does it go there? Does it go there? Does it go that way? Is it that way? That way, I reckon. There. Hey. Hey. No. Uh, what about there then? No, what about there? What about there? there that's a bit annoying I would normally like to use two mil or one and a half mil uh, solder but uh, I'm empty empty box so I'm gonna have to uh, this is one mil solder that I've just had to uh, give a bit of a bit of a twist on and I am going to fit this there and there just loosely like so and then I'll fit the top voila get on there I'm actually gonna talk it talk it up And we talk it down, talk it, do the talking on the walking. I'll set this at 26 Newton, which is what I normally go for. Obviously, I have to do the old uh, cross formation. There you go. You're probably wobbling around a bit uh, with the unsteady cam, man. Take over. Mm. <sighs> right, that's that one. And now we have to uh, get the piston 
get it. The other way, I reckon. There you go. She's all but. Uh, that was pretty handy, really. I could take the uh, solder out of the <laughs> out of the exhaust port here and give it a measure. That's quite thin, actually. Mm. It's the same all the way around. Sometimes you have to be lucky, don't you? 1.1, that's uh, that's fine. That's absolutely fine. Take it on from the other side. Right, let's have a measure. Measure this one. Ah, same. One one fifteen. Yep. So that is uh, absolutely stroke of luck. Brilliant. So that's that. So that's a three mil base packet. So what I think I'll do, I'll, uh, I use the old, uh, I use this one. Where are you? Where are you? Where, where are you, my lovely? So this is the one I use, uh, three bond twelve fifteen. I use that on the base gasket, and because uh, the head gasket isn't really, I mean, this part of the head isn't in the motor itself. Because because this is recessed on the uh, RT, so I, I'll also use this there as well, and that's what I did on the on the Shrek mobile, the Series One, and that turned out really good, no problems whatsoever with that. So then it's a case of uh, putting the uh, sealant on the gasket, uh, fitting the rings, and fitting the cylinder. Uh, fit in gasket on the top and then the cylinder head and then bottom nail down. We'll do that now. Get out, out the ports there. Right, so that's that. I'm going to ease this puppy on. If I fit it the right way around, I'm going to ease this puppy on. Squeeze it past the. Uh... <laughs> oh, come on, don't do it to me, man. Squeeze past the piston. I got this, which I haven't got. So, if you want to donate that uh, Rimini Lambretta, I'd uh, I'd love one. <laughs> <laughs> Please go in, you little bastard. There you go. Actually, gonna ease that in there with a screwdriver, I think. Hey, hey. The chances of that flying around somewhere in the in the garage quite big. And then I get a. A thumb of two stroke oil. I'm gonna to have to take off that. We're gonna to have to take off the silicone. Lots of silicone with buckers. Get off. Take that off there. Take that off there. Thank you very much. Take that off here. Thank you. And now we have to ease the uh, rings on. Ah, I've used that diamond file. Uh, 
if I put that there. <laughs> That's not supposed to happen. So make sure it's there. Give some more uh, lubrication. 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 Easy down. That was actually easy peasy. Just checking that those rings. You can actually see the ring. Rings there. That's good. All good. All looking good. Down she goes. So obviously this will bring up the squish a tiny and tiny little bit and uh, that doesn't matter because I'm uh, pretty much where I want it. There she goes. So I don't tighten them, I just uh, screw them down there. I'll just check the uh, squish once more, now that everything's uh, down. Hey, come on baby. There you go, nice. Hey ho, let's go. Right, so last check. What do we get? Yep. Oh. That's pretty much perfect, that is. Yep. 1.18, 1.17. That's uh, good to go. Right, so all I've got to do now is uh, bolt on the manifold and the uh, exhaust uh, stub from the, uh, uh, what's it called, the BGM uh, club and I'm going to fit on there. And then it's uh, clutch, chain, uh, rear hub, the vape system and then hopefully in the scooter. So uh, yeah. Keep tuned, keep tuned for the rest of the uh, rest of the epiphany that is my um, TB175 uh, rebuild here. And uh, don't forget, give the old uh, thumbs up and do the old uh, subscribe and uh, grab yourself a t-shirt. Uh, not just because they're super cool, but uh, they're actually very, very good quality as well, I've been told. <laughs> I can't afford one myself. Never mind. Anyway, I love you and leave you, boys. See you later.